just uh, let you know, it really is a difference in generations. Uh, after the win the other night, I told the kids, the albatross is off. And they looked at me, what? <laughs> Obviously, they don't read the Ancient Mariner anymore. But uh, it, that's what it felt like. Uh, I think just our travels and uh, playing the bigs just kind of beat us up, and we lost our confidence. Um, we didn't shoot very well, and we had a little coming to... Barbara, not Jesus, but coming to Barbara meeting after that Jamestown game, a game we felt like we shouldn't have lost and we couldn't shoot against Valley City. Um, not that, you know, they're not a good team, but I just don't think they're better. And uh, we decided we are not losing this to Dakota State game. And you saw a total different team, didn't you? Um, the heart decides. And we had great senior leadership. They came out and showed the kids what to do. And one of our Achilles heels has been uh, rebounding. We we don't. We don't make a move to box anybody out. We don't, you know, jump. And so we looked at some tape, and that's usually the best motivator. And then uh, we decided for every rebound, you know, they beat us, we were going to run suicides. Motivator? Yep, must have been. Um, did a much better job, and I'm, I'm pleased. I think my team's back now. We'll see, but it's time to hit the road again. And uh, these teams that we have coming up, um, Española is, you got to go over some mountains. Never been there, but I hear from the other coaches, you got to go over some mountains to, to get there. And uh, you think uh, New Mexico warm, but January, I guess, is about 40 some degrees. So not much different than here. But 12 hour drive. Um, we're going to leave Thursday morning. And uh, Maybe take a couple breaks along the way. It's probably like a 16 movie trip, but uh, we'll make the best of it. The kids, I'm sure, will have studies. But uh, Northern New Mexico uh, has a new coach and uh, much improved. Um, this one's got some standards and um, makes these kids toe the line. They just got three kids eligible. Um, so we've got some tape on them, but I don't know what they'll be like um, because these kids are just arriving. Um, they uh, were scrappy last year and gave us a handful. Uh, then we're going to travel up one day to go up back to um, Denver, and we'll play Johnson and Wales, a much improved team. Uh, they beat Valley City and they beat Jamestown, so um, they can shoot lights out if you let them. Um, they've got a pretty good size six-one post. So neither team is a slough team, or marshmallow, or whatever you want to call them. We respect them both, and we're going, you know, we've got three weeks left. We're going with the intentions of winning every game, and the kids know that they have to do it now. It's not what the other team's going to bring. It's what we're going to bring, the rebounding, and just playing your heart out. So... Again, I'm, I'm pleased with the win, uh, disappointed with the losses, and that's the way the coach's life is. But uh, love our kids, and uh, freshmen are getting better, and uh, we kind of go the way they go. So um, we do try to do a little more encouraging this week because in high school their seasons are usually done at this time. They don't play as many games. So you just remind them how much fun they're having. This 12-hour bonding time with your teammates, just having fun, will be will be grand, right, Jason? But uh, you know, we're anxious to get back here again. We've only got the the one home weekend, so we'd like to have you guys encourage 10 other people to come to see what we've got displayed. I I think the guys are having a phenomenal year. Jason's done a, an outstanding job this year, and. Uh, for about two months, I have to listen to him whine how they're only going to win five games. Oh, will you shut up now? But seriously, he does a great job, and he's got some good guys. So it's been a an okay year. Any questions? Yes, sir. Attitude. Yeah. Uh, we it was kind of mutual. I don't do attitude. I'm too old for that stuff. And somebody's going to change, and it's not going to be me. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the the seniors are not vocal leaders. Um, they're they're quiet. They lead by, you know, taking that first shot, and nailing that three pointer, and you know, Katie's just all over the court. So the freshmen are feeding off that. So if we can keep Katie in the court, not fouling out, you know, it's very helpful too. Losing Lexi was a detriment too because of fouls. So we've been talking a lot about moving our feet. And the other tasks, it's, it's it still hinders her a little bit, but um, there's not much to that body. When she, it hits the floor, it's pretty much bone. <laughs> it's hitting the floor. Devin Ash, really pleased with Devin. You know, she's had some bouts with different illnesses, and uh, when we were down in Denver playing the Bigs, she uh, found out she had strep throat. She couldn't even swallow some of the timeouts but she is one tough kid she was out there whether she could breathe or swallow or not but uh you know she she just gets better and better and and uh we're, we're just blessed to have her she's got that pretty outside shot she can defend i made her go out and play a little perimeter defense this weekend and whatever you tell her to do she'll do it What's her natural well she was post in high school but you know small school um she can penetrate so you know, if we get our, our bigs in next year, I think we'll be able to move her out a little bit. Thank you for your support. <clears throat>